Hello everyone, welcome to DevOps Journey. In today's video, we'll be discussing uh, a topic that's been on top of many developers and engineers' minds. Uh, the choice between Terraform and CDK for infrastructure as code. Both technologies have uh, been extremely popular in the recent years, but it can be difficult to know which one of these is the best fit for your organization. We'll be diving into some of the key features and use cases to help you make informed decisions. So what is infrastructure as code? Let's define infrastructure as code for beginners. Infrastructure as code is a way to manage and provision infrastructure, such as servers, databases, and networks using code rather than manual configuration. This means that instead of manually setting up and configuring servers uh, and other resources, you can use code to automate this process. One of the main advantages of infrastructure code is uh, that it allows you to version control your infrastructure, just like you would version control your software code. Uh, this makes it easy to track changes, roll back to previous versions, and collaborate with others. Additionally, uh, since the infrastructure is defined as code, it can be tested and automated in the same way as software. This helps you ensure that your infrastructure is always in the desired state and it eliminates the factor of human error when configuring these resources manually. Um, now, both of the Terraform and CDK are tools that allow you to provision your infrastructure as code, but they have some key differences. So Terraform is an open source tool for provisioning and managing cloud infrastructure. Uh, it uses a simple and human readable language called HashiCorp Configuration Language or HCL to define infrastructure as code. Uh, it's a cloud agnostic tool. That is to say, it doesn't favor one or the other uh, provider. It supports major cloud providers, which means that it can be used to provision resources across uh, multiple cloud providers, such as Google, uh, GC, you know, Google Cloud Platform, AWS, or Azure. It has a feature called state management that keeps track of all the resources it creates and changes. And it also has the functionality to use remote backend, which essentially allows you to store your uh, state file in a remote location of your choice, like, um, like S3 or, or a Git repository. CDK or uh, Cloud Development Kit is a, also another open source tool developed by AWS for provisioning and managing AWS resources. Now, this is a key difference. It only supports AWS Cloud. It allows you to define infrastructure in familiar programming languages, such as uh, JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, C Sharp, and Go. Now, Terraform also supports writing code in more familiar languages, but I've omitted it here because it's still in early phases and a bit hacky. Uh, back to CDK, it's built on top of AWS's cloud formation and AWS API, so it has tight integration with, uh, with AWS services. Behind the scenes, uh, it relies on AWS's CloudFormation stack to provision resources, and its states are also managed by CloudFormation stack. Uh, as we can see, CDK is tied to AWS, and this makes it a more natural fit for organizations that primarily use AWS and can utilize the benefits of uh, these tied integrations. For example, uh, CDK has a cool feature where uh, it automatically generates granular IAM permissions for your supported resources based on what access they need. This adds more security and locks down the app to only access they need. Well, on Terraform, you have to ensure you build IAM resources and policies yourself. On the flip side also, it also means that it is less flexible than Terraform when it comes to adapting multiple cloud providers. Well, choosing between the two, another important feature to consider is drift management. Drift management refers to the ability to detect and remediate differences between the desired state of your resources and their actual state. Both Terraform and CDK have drift detection capabilities, but the way they handle drift is a bit different. In Terraform, you can use Terraform's Terraform plan command, which compares the desired state with the actual state. Uh, well, CDK uses CloudFormation Stack's drift detection feature. This means that you can more easily automate Terraform drift detection mitigation and mitigation. Well, for CDK, it might be a bit trickier. However, like Terraform, CDK is rapidly evolving and new features are deployed regularly. So keep an eye on 
the GitHub releases pays for this feature. Another factor to consider uh, is the time to get started with the tool. So if you're new to the tool, new to both of the tools and have no programming experience, then Etsyl, in my opinion, opinion, is easy to learn. But if you're already familiar with the programming language supported by CDK, then you can stick to AWS and you plan to stick to AWS for a while, then CDK might be a better choice for you as you can bundle your AWS resources and your applications together. Additionally, think about who's going to support this infrastructure in the in the long term and what capacity the, the team has. Both tools are powerful and also very vast, so you need to consider overall, overall support structure of the platform you're building before choosing these tools. For example, if you have primarily developers in your team, then CDK might be uh, a better choice because the developers might already be familiar with a language that CDK supports. So in summary, Terraform is the cloud agnostic tool with lots of flexibilities, while CDK is the tightly integrated AWS tool uh, with support for multiple languages. So which one should you choose? I mean, the answer ultimately depends on your specific case. So if your organization is primarily AWS and you want to leverage native tools and features, then CDK is the right choice, considering the points we discussed earlier. And alternatively, if you're working in a multi-cloud environment and you want to have the flexibility, then Terraform might be a better choice for you. Having said that, both tools are rapidly evolving and regularly dropping new features. So if you're interested in any of these features, then keep an eye on their GitHub releases page. I hope this video has clarified some key differences between CDK and Terraform and help you get a better picture on which tool may be better for your case. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on all things DevOps and I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.